I originally had this concept that if you were a scientist working at the bench, your job was to develop new ideas and then throw those ideas over the fence and that someone within the pharmaceutical industry would see the brilliance of it and they would jump onto it and develop it. I learned early on that in order to positively affect patients, you had to really believe in what you were doing and you also had to take the initiative to develop your own area. I had seen several instances of success here. My uh, former mentor, Bill Arendt, had developed a drug which has become uh, a very powerful, a very important drug worldwide, but I very much wanted to replicate that myself and really be able to make an impact in patients. The idea behind the first company came when we made a number of discoveries in a laboratory that challenged conventional wisdom. With those ideas, we were able to get initial NIH funding to start a company, and then we had local investor funding, and then we're able to gather venture funding from some of the largest and most well-known venture firms. The second biotech company was one that we had a lot of help from CU Innovation, and they were very helpful helping us to design a package, if you will, that included the ideas, that included the intellectual property, which is incredibly important, of course, and then to make outreach to various venture firms and also others to help us with moving the company idea forward. The ability of an academic to make a fundamental discovery at the bench and then to help it develop into a therapeutic is, by my estimation, the true example of bench to bedside. That is one of the major reasons why I try to get people to stay in academia. As an academic, your goal is to impact health, impact knowledge, and move the care of patients forward. For me, success is to train people to be the next generation, to help them develop their own ideas, to have my own ideas make an impact, to see skill sets that you would not otherwise have had an opportunity to, and to be able to address all kinds of issues that I would never have been exposed to. The future is another company. So entrepreneurship gets in your blood. So I'm already thinking about the next one and maybe even the one beyond that.